On a daily basis, particularly when I'm out in the field, what I end up doing is doing the oversight of the meals, making sure that the federal and state uh, mandates are being held to, local health codes are being mandated, and also that uh, volunteer services are being provided in a manner that assures client confidentiality and the services are being held. What drew me to the job that I'm in now is I was a rehab teacher for the blind for 15 years and I dealt with elderly blind. A uh, position to open up with the Council of Governments that was in aging Nothing services. Easy. It seemed like a natural segue to move into that position. <laughs> and it allowed me to further enhance my job skills. To me, the challenges in my field would be directed towards making sure that services are being delivered. I think some of the skills that you need for my position, definitely communication skills, public speaking skills, writing, communication skills through that pathway, because you do a lot of grant writing, you do a lot of reports, you do a lot of technical writing. There's times when you really never know what effect that you have on any of the clients that you run across. At some point or another, you're going to have some individual contact with a person that you will never know until three or four months down the road, and boom, they call you up and say, you made a big change in my life.